Hey, Big Dave, the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode. Another episode. What the hell am I talking about? I'm restarting a new series, Skyrim. I am bound and determined to get a full anniversary run through. With no new areas, dungeons, or anything like that. And we failed twice. Because the mods I put on there were a little too strong. And by a little, I mean, well, you saw what happened. <laughs> So I stripped down, we're going to start anew again. It's not going to be a survival run. So where does that leave us? Well, it's going to have meat for this character. We're going to, uh, as I said, going to start a new, new character. So what race am I going to play? I'm going to play, and the race I think is, in my opinion, the best race to play. That's purely non-survival. That's going to be the Breton. Simply because... Of their magic resistance and their and the, the active ability allow, gives you some spell absorption, which is pretty darn nice. But <laughs> this default leaves a lot to be desired. Okay, let's see if we can find something better to work with. Eh, that one ain't too terrible. I've worked with that before. I don't have a problem with that one. We'll clean this up a little bit and go from there. Okay. That's a little better. No dirt. Do we want war paint? No, we don't need war paint. Don't really have much of a problem with the look. We're just gonna, as I said, we're just gonna change up a couple of minor things here. I like the eyes. I like the nose. Yeah, you know, as I said, you know, standard facial features look fine. We're just gonna keep going. I actually don't even have really much of a problem with the hair. Let me take a look and see what we're dealing. With. Oh, we got clips. No, 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 no. Okay, that's gonna have to change. We'll probably change up the facial hair a little bit too. Not a fan of the standard goatee. We got some nice options from KS Hairdos, so we'll look to see what we have. That's actually not bad. Not great, but not bad. And really, they got a beanie in there? Oy. I don't know. There's plenty of options here. Start back this way. Uh, all right, we can use the arrow keys. Okay, and you'll see when we get off of the vanilla ones. There we go. Let's see. Look back, but neck length? That's not bad. I can deal with that. I should want to go back to the eyebrows. I don't know if that would be brow. Let's change the type because that's a little wild and wooly there. Okay, that's definitely manageable. And we'll change the facial hair look. Um, all right, I mean, the five o'clock shadow. It's a little much there. A little too much 5 o'clock shadow, if you ask me. No, no neck beards. I already am one. I don't need to play one. I don't know. Something about this kind of calls to me, and I know there's going to be a lot of you going, what the hell is wrong with you, Dave? It's with you guys in mind. I'll skip that. 
Got sort of the Derek Smalls thing going on there. Comment down below if you know what I, if you get that reference. A lot in the way of goatees. That's actually not bad. I think we'll stick with that. Now, I don't think we're going to really mess with... Ah, eh, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, run around all of Skyrim <laughs> looking like you're completely freaked out. <laughs> Although, if you're going to do that... Well, if you're really going to act like you're afraid of everything. <laughs> okay, I'm having a little too much fun with this. Thank you, race menu. <laughs> Although, if you're a Breton and you just hate the way everything looks. <laughs> or smells. Pissed off for being locked up for no reason. Okay, okay, enough of that. I'm just having too much fun with this. All right, now for the colors. Uh, skin tone. Get him as pale as possible. You know, High Rock is rather rainy, snowy, depending on what part of it you're, uh, you're living in. So, yeah, there's really not much in the way of tanning going on with those people. Okay. Hair color, we're not going to go with black. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Wait, what? Okay, hold on a sec. Ish. I know I'm, it's weird that I'm looking for a gray, but more of a silver. No? What if I do this? No, it doesn't really change anything, does it? Uh. We could go for Snow White if we wanted to. We go zero. That's jet black. I don't know. I'm just not feeling this. A fine line here. It's about where I've been having it. You know what? Fine. We'll stick with that. Okay. Okay. For actual eye color, we're gonna have to go through the eye section. I don't know why that's not in the palette. I like the deep blues, but the red eyes around it, I don't know about that. He looks like he's all strung out. There we go. OK, 
Okay. I tint are the bags under the eyes? No. I shut. Hey. Yeah. Eyeliner is exactly what you think it is. Don't really need that. Cheek colors. That's blush. Yeah, a lot of this is just makeup stuff. Don't really need that. That's fine. And there's more. There's the makeup, uh, war paint. Alright, so I think we're going to call it. I, I like the way he looks. We've just spent about 11 minutes just uh, dicking around, playing with the look. Alright, so, so since we're playing a Breton, they have French sounding names, so we're going to go with a name that you would typically find wandering around the streets of Montreal. So, why don't we go with uh, Pierre... No. No. No, no, because I know a bunch of you are going to mispronounce that as Dinas. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go with... Paul, which is co pretty common in France and French ca uh, Canada. Uh, Paul Laguerre, which literally means the war. So if that fits. You from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. <laughs> By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the Captain, prisoner. I'd rather follow the horse. <laughs> Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on! I <laughs> that line still cracks me up. <laughs> no, he doesn't. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Breton! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. I don't want to go I in the cart. Or on the block. times I've had to bail start, uh, starting runs because of things that can just go wrong here. <laughs> Horse got hit by a uh, meteor. Did you hear that? But yeah, I've had some crazy things happen. I think that horse got slaughtered. But yeah, I've had 
things stop. Yeah, you know, the cart yeah you know, stop runs before they started. The cart ride gets completely off track and won't go through uh, the walls into town because well, yeah. <laughs> I've had the dragon land on the perch and just stand, sit there and look at things and not summon the meteor strike. Oh yeah, that was a fun one. And yeah, I'm not good with the whole parkour thing. That's why I still do this. I've gotten hit by him a few times. We're going to take the Imperial side because... RP-wise, it makes no sense to actually do anything with the storm cloaks if you're not a Nord. Unless you a damn glutton for punishment. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these drones. Okay, start with the Imperial Light Helmet. Let's take a look at our skills here. And while I know for most players, it, you know, you could be any race, however, build however you want, it ultimately doesn't matter. I like to look at it as a starting point. But that's just me. All right, our main thing is going to be conjuration. We also have illusion, alchemy, and speech, so we can talk our way out of situations. We can make potions. We can screw with people's heads. And we're also good with restoration and alteration. So mostly magic, which is how we're going to be. Not destruction, though. So we're going to be relying a lot on alternate sources of of damage primarily through summons and with the fury and with the fury and its related spells through well your enemies themselves And if we're going to be playing as a mage, then Look around. Well, we're not really going to be using the swords, that's for sure. But if we're going to be playing as a mage, and we're going to be sticking mostly with the magic, let's see what we have to start with. We have Contra Familiar, Flames, Healing, Dragon Skin, which is spell absorption, which is nice. And that's all we've got for to start. Are you still out there? Wouldn't be the worst idea. Fire up fire one up now. But as I said. Our build is gonna be Dependent on our summons, our allies, what do you make of it? Right. What does it mean? If you want to die, yeah. say it all out of the way. We're going to need to get a better summon than our dog. Let me see if I can get that door open. We're going to need some protection, but ideally we're best with Nothing. So we're going to go back to that. That's just the thing. 
we go with nothing. So this is pretty much how we look. Actually, on, this way. We're gonna take that off. We don't even use weapons. This is not an easy build to do, but it's quite doable. But in a vanilla-esque build, as I said, it's tough, but this is quite doable. We're not stealthy by any stretch. And did our pup just go poof? They're doing that. Almost like a pacifist run. I say almost because, well, we are trying to. But it's just not really working as such. Now, as you can tell, our pup can't take a hit. So we're going to need something a little tougher. So when we get to Riverwood, we're going to be looking for better summoning spells. Done, we're going to have a follower with us at all times. The tanklier, the better. Bring our doggo in there. Right now, the only thing we can do is either heal ourselves or bring the dog. I mean, I guess we can use flames too, but. Our dog just bit the big one. And the assistant's already bit the big one. Wonderful. Not dragon, please. Don't make up nonsense. Okay, we need to start unloading already. Jeez. All right, to see what we need to get rid of, we need to turn that on. And get rid of that which is has the lowest value. Okay, we need to keep something just because, uh, just so that way we're not running around completely naked. We're underweight now. <laughs> I did hear some odd noises coming from over here. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some fix. Oh, 
Alright, so... Eh. You know what, I tagged it. I might as well start using it a little bit more. Because it's something. And that will actually help. Get rid of the rough spun tunic. And... The clothes iron. Still dealing with foot wraps, but yeah, at least it's something to cover the feet for now. And at least with uh, these mage clothes on, that will help a little bit. We get some extra magicka, and we get some extra replenishment. Now for leveling, we're going to pretty much be ignoring stamina for this build because mage. Better to stick together down here. So we'll be concentrating on a two to one ratio of magicka to health. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where there are ways to improve and to improve our encumbrance. I'm not really worried about that. Now we start getting rid of three pound things. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that battle axe. And. Let's take back the battle axe. Let's get rid of the warhammer. Puts us at five pounds. And. Get rid of one of the iron swords. My dog's still alive. And yeah, using destruction for a little bit is helping. And all he's got are three value. Screw that. Well time fire can do us so much. Alright, one pound over, so. We'll drop a gauntlet. Four pounds over. That will be... Another sword. Moving on. Oh wait, this isn't where I want to go. Funny you should mention that. You go this way. Some goodies this way. Coin purse. Potion of healing. Search the skeleton for another point of gold. And if you're overweight, you can dump all some stuff on that skeleton without hurting yourself. Which is always nice. Speaking of coin purses, there's another one. going to save here because I don't want to have to go through all of that again because we're about to get to something a little nastier. Okay, let the dog go through. And there's Hadvar and the spider's gone. Or the wolf is gone, so we bring up another one, maybe. There we go. Wanted. 
Yeah, don't say that. That will be what's next. Alright, well the one good thing about being a mage is poisons are completely useless, so you can sell them. Eat the egg. And we'll collect the eggs, because as our alchemy skill gets better, we can get more and more things from it. Alright, not going to complain about another lockpick. Web sack, that's a skeever tail. That'll be our first skeever tail. Yum, yum. Eat. Grab those. Now we eat that. We... There's none. Oh, no, wait. There's one over here. You oh, know, I did get that one. Right, there's one more set left. That's over here. Oh, wait. How did I miss that venom? Get all those. Okay, that's an iron mace. Totally useless. And we're going the way through. There it is. Oh, and be careful. You can hurt yourself by kicking things. Especially if, you, uh, if you're if you not wearing heavy armor. Yeah, embarrassing fact. I've actually died to that once. Okay, push my health. That's good. There should be a iron dagger. There it is. And we are overweight. So... Back to everything. Okay, we are two pounds over, so we will drop on. What? You want to drop one? Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See him? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. He might be able to see and he's about to give us another bow. So, we will drop We'll drop this storm called Quiris. Take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take it's be about the only time we're ever going to use this bow in this game. I take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow the lead and watch. To be fair, all we have magically are short range spells and support. Okay. Three pounds over, we need to drop more junk again. We'll drop two gauntlets. We'll go to the bear. We will get our prize for taking down the bear, claws down the gullet, take the pelt and the arrow, and we need to drop another set of gauntlets. Okay, two sets of gauntlets. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, you're never going to be able to sell iron arrows, but that's okay, you're not going to need to. Once we get a follow, uh, once we get a follower, we can just give them the arrows. They'll make use of them. Okay, so I think once this load screen is done, we're going to call it here. It's already been a half hour. You know, kind of short, but you know, I did spend a fair amount of time playing around with the looks menu. <laughs> okay, remember what I said? No survival mode. And now, the one last major part before we end this, we're going to get to religion. Most denizens of Tamriel are religious. You may choose to follow a deity, receiving a minor blessing and learning about their sacred tenets. If you wish to follow a different deity later, find and activate their shrine in the world. Now, as a Breton, we've got options. We get most of the divines. Let's look at Akatosh. Akatosh is the dragon god of time. As father of dragons, he represents the beginning and end. As a follower, you get improved attacks and spells against dragons, and your tenants are fulfill your destiny by saving Tamriel, raise your character level, absorb dragon souls, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. Well, if you do anything these are uh, Dark Brotherhood related, that's going to be tough to do. Let's look at RK. Once a mortal shopkeeper, the Lord of Life and God of Funerals was granted divinity by Mara. Regenerate follower, regenerate health one weekend, can perform RK's rites on the dead. 
Tenants slaying the undead and their summoners perform Arcae's rites, never openly break the laws of Skyrim, never summon the undead or become one of them. Yeah, that may be a problem, too. Let's look at the Bella. Goddess of beauty and love, she inspires mortals to create art and engage in passionate love. Follower, improve skills while affected by lover's comfort. Tenants, persuade others, receive the blessings of lover's comfort, find a new sibyl for my temple, pray only in the nude, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. Let's look at Magnus. You're noticing a theme here with all the divines. Never openly break the laws of Skyrim. There may be a problem with that. Let's look at Magnus. The architect of creation, Magnus, left the sun in his wake all through which magic enters the world. As a follower, spells cost less magicka, but magicka only regenerates while praying. Ooh. Tennis, practice magic successfully while praying. Safeguard the eye of Magnus. Create enchanted items. I don't know about that one. I don't know how the heck that's going to work. Let's look at Mara. Mara's the divine mother of agriculture, fertility, and compassion, and mother cat to the Khajiit. Follower, pray to remove diseases and poisons. Mm. Tenants, be married, own one or more houses, be generous to beggars and children, receive the blessing of lover's comfort, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. Moving on, let's look at Finister. The elven deity knows we get a lot of the elven ones. Ancestor god of Somerset, Finister uh, taught his people to live longer using a sh by using a shorter stride. Follower, faster regeneration when standing still, slower when moving. Okay. Tennis, explore new locations, find the standing stones of Skyrim, harvest the fruits of nature. Bretons are most deserving of my favor. Maybe. Looking at Stendar. Stendar is the god of mercy and justice and patron of the holy knights of the Imperial Legion. Follower, reduce damage from Deidre and undead. Tenets, clear dungeons of evil, slay Deidre and the undead. Complete side quests, never openly break the laws of Skyrim, never practice the foul summoning arts. Considering that's our primary method of offense, that's not happening. Let's look at Zarzis. Once a mortal scribe to Ariel, the historian god keeps track of all elven accomplishments. Follower, receive an additional skill point from reading a skill book. Ooh. Tenants, explore new locations, read the stories of others, study a wide variety of spells. Bretons are most deserving of my favor. We may have a winner. Finally, let's look at Zenithar. Follower, Zenithar is the god of work and commerce, worshipped by traders, nobility, and craftsmen. As a follower, you get improved crafting skills and learn them faster. Okay. Tenants, invest in stores and merchants, seek out skill training, make weapons and armor, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. I think, as I said, we have a winner. It's going to be Xarxes. So, we, what we're going to do is we are going to hit... No, that's not what I want. I want to hit Prey. I'm going to do that. And our abilities come with Spellbooks. Double the pleasure, double the fun. You gotta love that. So... Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith. I'm sure he'd help a lot. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help okay. today. We're going to wait until he stops running. Okay. We're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in. And to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer. This is Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Welcome back. I'll see you all next time.